From a safeguarding point of view, if we're looking at musculoskeletal pain and injury, um, then any pain, swelling, limping or non-weight bearing could be associated with um, non-accidental injury. So also when you're examining children, if you see any swelling or bruising or burns, it's important just even if it's in an area that's not associated with where you're looking at so if you're looking at knee pain and you see something on an arm you need to be asking um you know all oh, that's what's happened there and finding out a history is it congruent with the um, injury or incongruent is the variability in the history and is this in a non-ambulant child which would automatically alert you to safeguarding and obviously these aspects of swelling bruising have red flag um sort of ten um link you to serious pathologies as well. Any sort of neglect, so any delay in the presentation of a young person or any observations um, with a child parent or any observations of neglect need to be actioned on. And just looking at previous hospital attendances, health and social care involvement. And it's also we need to remember with adolescents as well, it's not just about the parent, it's also about online abuse, domestic abuse, also from a partner as well as domestic abuse in a family, online grooming or grooming in general and just criminal, criminal activity that they might be involved in.